Hello, hello, my slimes. Welcome back to another mid lane commentary. Today we'll be playing some Ezreal mid lane in around Grandmaster MMR on NA. So, Ezreal mid, why is it good? Well, it is okay in lane. It struggles during the first early levels in some matchups. It can actually push quite decently with Q. And, obviously, you also get a lot of levels, which is nice for Ezreal. You don't really get that in bot lane. You're usually behind in levels, but you can get it mid lane. It's also nice if you have an AD jungler, or or an AP jungler, sorry, or an AP bot laner. If you just have a lot of magic damage on your team, um, and you're, you're not going to be capable of auto-attacking a lot in fights, because usually I would like something like Tristana, right? That is my go-to AD mid laner. But if it's not going to be possible to auto a lot in fights as Tristana, or if you have a bad matchup, then Ezreal is fine. Ezreal has a lot less weaknesses in lane than Tristana, I think. He can kind of nullify matchups in a way and just lose elegantly. Whereas Tristana, if you have a bad matchup, it, it, you either have to outplay pretty heavily or... Uh, or you will go down quite a lot in lane. We're just gonna start off by pushing. We're gonna use our Q for this. Allows us to stack tier, allows us to push, allows us to kill the, all the enemy minions quickly to open up a line of, of, of fire on the enemy Cassio. I think I might have missed that CS. The intention here is to kill all of these minions so I can hit the Cassio. There's no way this is good for you, is it? Wait, there's no way. Do you just kill me? Huh. Okay, well, fair enough. I guess she's no exhausted. But she lost a lot of mana. I don't think it's that bad for me. I will have E as well. I think it's hard for her to actually full-on kill me. I didn't really expect that, though. I'm gonna be honest. Gonna just go for these minions. That kinda sucks, actually. My wave is not great now. It's good play by her, I guess. She dealt a lot more damage than I was expecting. You know, usually Cassio level 1, when she starts tier, it's like... <laughs> She doesn't really deal damage, right? She is low on mana now, though, which is good. Mm, good Q by you. Bad spacing by you, though. Oh, really bad by you. Oh. Well, okay, I got his flash, I guess. I knew that I was fine. That sucks, though, because my wave is still bad. Cassio isn't running CP, though, so this is not horrible. I think she griefed her wave as well. I will just get refillable and then TP back to lane. I think the wave is coming into me now though, which is good. I don't have to push this. There's no way you come in and fix it for her, is there? Okay, you don't. Nice, good. We will just chill here. Let the wave come into us. Let the Casio lose some minions. It's not actually gonna be as good as I was hoping. Oh, I also need to not lose minions. It's pretty bad if I lose minions here. The wave is not as good as I thought it would be. I thought it would be better than this. Well, the Ego is on the bot side, so we can hover top side. I mean, after all is said and done, I'm down a flash. The Ego is also down a flash, though. Mm, could E in, but I don't think it's good. Mainly because if she insta throws a W down, I'm in a bit of a bad spot, I think. I will go for a ward here. She should hold the freeze if she's competent. I can go for a ward here, though. Have a ward on the bot side. I really want to fix my FPS. It feels very laggy. I think it's because I have uh, YouTube open in the background. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is good, actually. It's fine. Diego got an assist. He should be no flash after me. Okay, that sucks. Ah, this FPS feels very bad. There's no way you're going to tank that, is there? Ah, should use my E faster. Oh wow, good play by you. I guess I'm just dead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can at least fix this now. It's because I have Twitch open in the background. Oh, both sums on her. Oh, it's good Viego gank. Really means that I just died to everything, I think. It sucks. Yeah, I mean, it was bad E earlier as well. I can't step up without having E. I mean, obviously, I guess I shouldn't... If I didn't waste my E, it was a lot easier. I guess just hold my E until she go like commits. Or until it looks like she's committing, I guess. 
I still think it's somewhat fine. Shouldn't be terrible. The problem is just my wave is gonna be stuck again and no one is gonna come to help me. But enemy will come to gank me when I have bad wave, but my jungler will not come fix my bad wave, so... Yeah, their top is dead. Wait, I have played with this Malphite today. I'm pretty sure. He played Viego in one of my games and completely entered it. I missed both minions. Um, that sucks. Maybe I can push out the wave? Mm. I should take another step back there. Uh, there's no way she should be allowed to freeze this, right? <laughs> but there's just nothing I can do. Because if I miss my skill shots, I just lose. <laughs> right? Like, it's a bit tough. I think Viego is top side, so I can hover bot side. I think the wave should actually be somewhat fine. It's not gonna be terrible. I mean, I can see that long range and just fire Qs. It's not bad. Wave will eventually bounce. I mean, I don't mind playing like this. It's fine. Wave will bounce into me. Look to hit Cassio whenever possible. I guess she just warded that. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're just gonna start playing lane. Very, very scared now. Just play like we're losing, because we are losing. We're just gonna sit at max range and fire Qs to last it, which is fine. It's not bad. Oh, bro. The same Q twice, man. I fired it in the exact same manner. There we go. Finally managed to hit it. Mm. Can fire my ult here. Maybe it matters. Damn. Didn't matter. That sucks. And my Graves dies as well. Yeah. Not a lot that I can do. Not a lot I can do. We overcommitted. If my ult... I think it hit both of them. I'm hoping that it hit Viego as well. I mean, I'm just gonna fire my ult and then just not look. Oh. Oh, bad spacing on my part. Like some really bad clicks there. Oh, that is low cooldown. There's no way. Am I just dead? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, I guess she exhausts an ult. She will just crash and then leave. Can't do much. They will have Shen ult as well. I didn't mean to auto that minion, I meant to auto the other minion. I think I can push this wave out and then be somewhat safe. Just push out, go for reset. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Not a lot I can do then, is there? I mean, it would be cool Malphite roam, but I don't think it will work. I will just keep firing Qs at max range for the minions. That guy has flash. I mean, my ult is good. Nice, we got the Cassio as well. Viego flash too. Viego should be hovering bot side. So we're gonna hover top side here. Mostly because we also have vision on our top side, right? We have a lot of vision up here, so we know that we're safe. I don't think I can go for plates. I think maybe it's too greedy. Actually, no, I'm down for... Okay, well... Never mind. We're not down for plate. I was down for plate mostly because I have teleport up. So what I could do is I could take the plate, then try to push out this next wave, and then just go for reset TP back into mid lane. But then obviously Janna shows, right? So not a lot I can do at that point. If Cassio decides to insta shove the wave, I think I have to TP. Oh, she's late to lane, so I'm safe. I can just run back. We're gonna lose Harold. Can't do much about that. Feels bad. It's good roam by uh, Janna. Well played to her. Cassio is probably moving there too. Yeah, well played. Can't do much. They have four players, right? Like, what can we really do? They have four people topside. Okay, well, we see this guy. Oh, Cassio got it. Well, then it's important that I don't die, because if I die here, then we bleed quite a lot. But probably means Cassio will perma room. I can go for this ward now, though. Means that she has no way of sweeping it. She might be playing blue buff here. She's playing Roa build. She's going tank Cassio. Interesting. I think bot lane should be a little bit careful here. I think I can crash this wave though. I have mana mune in base as well, which is pretty good for me. I imagine Cassio is just roaming or clearing jungle camps. Would be weird if she was resetting. Oh, well, she was resetting. Interesting. I will go for my reset too then. 
Or maybe actually I will just ult bot lane. Maybe it hits. Wow, well, good spell shield by you. Just reset, get my mana immune, CP back mid. Channeled. Maybe I should have TP'd bot lane actually. <laughs> Whoops! That's my bad. Oh, good dodge by you. Really? Harold? Hmm. Not the way I would have used it. But can Harold turn around though? There we go. Thank you. I see a Shen here. But I don't see which way he's going. I mean, I would have liked the kill, but what can you do? Damn, I lost a lot for this. You're just dead now. <laughs> yeah, sure. I guess we just give her another kill. Good dodge by her. She dodges up a lot is what I'm noticing, so I shouldn't fire it outside of the wave. Some people like dodging outside of the wave, she has a tendency of dodging into the wave it feels like. Which is not bad. Hmm. And I don't mind playing for the bait here, sure. We'll also happily play for the first strike proc. And my cactus is dead. She's just dead right. Nice. Huge. Good bait by my karma. I just want the plate, bro. Nice. Push out the next wave as well. Don't like that my Kathos dies, but what can we do? He's gonna die on repeat. Oh, just not enough AD. That sucks. Gonna hold my W for a little bit so I can reapply my passive. There we go. Huh. A Shinroam, huh? I mean, my E was bad. I don't get the plate either. What a joke. And that guy dies as well, barely. Oh my god, what a disaster. That sucks. A lot. Oh, Shinroam, huh? I didn't have to flash. I don't think he has damage to kill me. But actually, I think it might be close. I think it's pretty close. I'm very, very squishy at this stage. Like, very, very squishy. Only thing I really have going for me is range and mobility. So once people get on top of me, I will probably just die. An enemy has been I should have more speed than you, though. Enemy pretty good spell usage on my part. Oh, wait, Malphite isn't coming. Pretty cool combo. It's hard for her when she's that far up to do anything. Oh, I wanted to combo that. Feels bad. Maybe can land? No. We're up in CS, but we're down quite a lot of gold. Hmm. And the dream is Cactus will do some stuff this game. We're up in XP as well somehow. I don't, I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Look for spells on her. Just ult the Diego maybe. Maybe he goes back in. Nope. That sucks. I think my Malphite is dead to Cassiopeia though. Can't really move. Can you get over the wall? You have ult, don't you? I thought he had ult. I'm pretty sure he did have ult. I think he should have gotten out there. Maybe can chunk the tower a little bit. Yeah, Cassio is back with another buff. Lovely. I mean, we can poke her out. It's hard for her to play here. I mean, I will just fire max range Qs at this point. I can slap the Cassio a little bit if I want to. He might try to flash ult me, so I'm trying to bait it. 
Maybe we can land alt here. Mm, there's no reason to alt. I actually want to cancel her base. I'm down to fire my ult to cancel that base. Nice. Good kill. I'm down to fire my ult to cancel the Cassio's base there. Whatever I can do to keep him in lane longer. It's good for me because it means more time where he can't pressure, right? Less time where he gets to move freely, plus I almost also have TP up and I almost have my mana immune complete. Okay, there we go. I can base now. I can TP. Just TP mid. Oh, she got a lot of HP there. That feels bad. I mean, she will just crash this. Not a lot we can do, but we can play Herald. Should look to play Herald at least, if possible. Mm, I don't like this play. I think just play Herald, bro. It's a good play, no? Would have been really cool if I cancelled her base there as well. We're just gonna look to insta shove this wave. See if we can uh, threaten the tower. Someone has to come mid lane. Oh, no one is coming mid. Well, then their tower is dead. It's first tower as well. It's pretty good. It's pretty big. It's really big, actually. Nice, we get shut down as well, bot side. Oh, she has Rylize now. <laughs> Means if I get hit by one spell, then I'm probably dead. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, you're probably just dead, huh? Maybe I can run up. Mm, no, I will place this here. Let's see if I can spot Viego coming mid lane. I mean, I almost have item. I mean, I have item. I just need to base. But I have to catch one more wave to make sure enemy team doesn't get mid tower. Viego is in the top side bush. Karthus wants to come mid lane, I would have to imagine. If he wants to keep side laning, I'm actually kind of down for that. I don't mind it. I have item in base. I can't base though, because we will drop mid tower. Hmm. How do I create a base timer? That's a Viego here. Maybe like this. <laughs> Maybe I just one shot the wave and then move instant. I think that's the play. Drake is spawning. I have item. Yeah, works. Into Navori next. Get Blue Trinket as well. Looks like my Karthus, maybe... No, he doesn't want to go mid. Lane is fine. I can get Perma Pryo against the, uh, the Severe. So it's pretty good. Did he got? Did he got what, bro? Fire my ult, that's all I can do. That's all I can do for you, bro. Nice, big. Gets the tower and he probably dies, but that means they drop... Uh, that means they drop Drake. I think I have to go defend tier 2, maybe? Drake should be guaranteed at this point. I want to make sure that he doesn't get tier 2. I want to make sure that it doesn't get a charge on tier 2, ideally. Nice. Big. Really big. Who's gonna cover mid? Karthus? Now if I go spot. Okay, I like it. I think it's a good play. Oh, Malphite. Oh. I think Karthus should go mid, but Karthus doesn't go mid. It feels a bit awkward to me. I might die here as well. I have to just push this wave and then go for my base. Hmm. Very weird played by Karthus there. Now I have to use TP mid. Unless I want to lose tower. This mid tower matters a lot, so I don't want to give it. That sucks, man. That really sucks. I would have highly preferred to save my TP. Reason I have to blow it is because otherwise Sivir can just shove out. 
I mean, I can check with my ult. It's not bad. Use my ult like this. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Hit one skill shot, please, Espen. Oh my god, I just missed everything. How is it losing fight? Oh yeah, because I missed everything. How did I not see Cassio either? It's not losing fight, but man, I played that poorly. Wait, I thought Cassio died. Well, I guess that is how we win the game. We just steal Baron. As Ezreal. Or as uh, Graves. I mean, I don't mind using my ult to just check stuff. It's low cooldown anyway. If I can just perma-fire my Q, right? Like, I will get it up pretty soon anyway. Doesn't really matter if I just use it to check stuff. I thought the Cassio insta died though. She disappeared off my screen it felt like. That's why I was like okay we're safe then. I can start walking in very aggressively because obviously I should just play it at range. I also just, just flat out missed every single skill shot. <laughs> Which like I'm notorious for being bad with my skill shots so Ezreal probably isn't the champion for me right. But if people don't move properly then I can hit them. But if people have good movement, or just not terrible movement, very very difficult for me to hit them. I also have a, a level advantage on the Cassio, despite her playing Roa, which is pretty cool. I haven't dropped the waves, so it's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> oh dear god. Wait, did I grieve? No, I think it's fine. I don't think I die. I think he grieved by trying to kill me. He tried to kill me because I channeled my ult, so he wanted to land the taunt on me. Damn, bad angle Q by me. Had to play range. Oh, I don't know if I like that play. Oh, actually, it's fine. Wait, why am I stuck? What? What happened then? Does my grave it's not just lose this? Okay, works. Viego dies as well. Wait, how did I get stuck on the tower? My Q couldn't come out. Maybe I think I went into a... Yeah, outplay that one, bro. Outclick, outplay the point and click. The auto attack. Can't outplay that, can you? Can't dodge that, can you? Mm, could play for end. Oh, okay. We don't want to play for end. It's fine. Reset top wave. Yeah, looks good. Ah, mm, Drake though. I think it's just this, and then this, this, get pink wards. I shouldn't take blue buff. I'm three items now. It's pretty big. So is Cassio though, but she also didn't have to get boots. And her items are pretty cheap compared to Navori. I think Navori is like one of the most expensive items in the game. Yeah, her Roa is cheap, her Rylice is cheap, her Serats is pretty cheap. But then again, so is my Miramana. My Essence Reaver is also pretty cheap, so... Yeah. Wait, what pink do I have? I have that one. Okay. I don't mind going for this one then. Oh, we're basing? I don't like this base timer. I think Karthus needs to start moving as well. Nothing I can eat. Oh, oh wait, they just FF? Sure thing, bro. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's Ezreal mid lane for you. Absolutely do nothing. Play perfect CS. And then... Just become good in team fights. Obviously, against other champions, you can play it a little bit more aggressively. Uh, I really like him against something like Jace. I found a lot of success with Ezreal against Jace, and just playing Exhaust on Ezreal. I have found a lot of success into stuff like Silas as well, Akali. These types of champions just play Exhaust on Ezreal and then just go fight them. Maybe I should have taken Exhaust in this matchup as well. Actually, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary and have a good one. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.